Hello everyone, how are you? Nice to see you again. Thank you for stopping by. Welcome to my channel and thank you to all the previous and new subscribers for subscribing. I'm Maristi from Greece and I'm here to present you a very beautiful, easy, quick uh, envelope that is a really nice long envelope that you can use on your journals. And I usually use it for bookmark also. I put this on the top of the page like that with a paper clip and you can use it as bookmark so this is not my idea the first time I saw it it can also it also contains a bookmark as you can see and this is what this is not my idea uh, first time I saw it from happy mail from Nikki and I really like it and I copy paste it <laughs> it's very very quick very very easy this one is made oops this one is made with uh, four vellum paper. It's actually a simple copy paper that I made with a four vellum technique and seal it. So let's start. You will need a piece of page. It can be a book page. It can be whatever, whatever you wish. Spotted paper, printed paper. This is actually copy paper printed with Tsunami Zero Design printable. It's very, very easy, very, very quick. It's completely up to you how what you will use and how you will decorate it after work, afterwards. It's nice if you have printed it both sides so you can see the, the inside also decorated, but it doesn't matter. So we'll take our page, even a book page, and um, I'm just trying to see where the pattern is. So I want this to be at the center. So I will fold this like that and we will be very careful to line up the edges here. It won't take any special tools. You can use your board folder, I'm using my nails. And then you will go and knit the other side and just a bit more inside so you will have a gap to glue it. That was it. Can you see? So you have to overlap a bit the other side, so you will have enough space to put your glue. Let's glue it. You can use whatever glue you like, and it's more convenient to you, and it a glue that won't wrinkle your paper. Now you will go on the bottom, this is the bottom bit, and I'm usually putting the length, I don't do any measurements, I usually put the length of my fingers, so I'm just folding this side, like that, make it so it lines up. And then, I will take my corner punch. And create a corner and come here and cut until the crisp trim just a tiny bit so we can separate those Those two, and then come and cut this. And it doesn't matter that I didn't cut it straight because this will be covered completely. I should have distressed it now. You have to distress it before you glue it, but after you do, do all your cutting. So when you distress it, your edges pop up. Then we will do the same on top. Another trick you can do is if you fold it, when you do your crisp, let me do it. So on top I will need 
the size of my thumb as a length. So I take it here, fold it, make sure it lines up and straight. Another trick is if you don't have a corner bunch and you don't want to make your edges rounded, you can join this and when you cut it here, you will have the exact the same uh, cut when you do it like that. So we have the crisp here, if you cut it like that, you have exactly the same. And you can do that to have exactly the same thing. So I will take my corner punch again, cut my corners. And let's see, so let's see who did it. to be cut again. Mm -hmm. And now you will come here and cut this part. Let's take a longer scissor so we can cut it straight. And now, if you have a, a circle punch, you can do it with your circle circle punch. And if you don't have a circle punch, you can do it uh, with uh, just marking it with a coin. Let's see. No, I need further. Okay. So that's our quick, 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 quick envelope. I usually go and run, you can leave your corners uh, pointing, like uh, here. As you can see, the corners here are pointing, but I usually go and round them, because I like them more round. I have an issue with that, I know. I like the corners round. It's more soft to the eye. From you distress it before you glue it. That was the mistake I did and I didn't show you. And now let's come, let's go and um, make it inside the bookmark. I usually told you that I'm, uh, I'm usually using this as bookmark, the whole envelope like that on the top of the page. It has the lid to hold it there, but you can make a bookmark for inside. So I just have another copy paper. I will fold it in half and make sure that it's straight. So I line it up there. I'm just watching for my designs if it's lined that. That way, I'm using this uh, um, this paper that is. Uh, I, I prefer to do the folding thing because I'm using printable papers first of all, and that makes it more sturdy. And of also, you can match the designs of the paper. In this case, I didn't, but you, as you can see here. It's the same paper line, for example. This is the same paper line. So you match the design of the paper with the design of the envelope. Now we will see how long we want it. And um, I will have to cut it here. And how long, how long, how long? You want it a bit shorter than your um, envelope. So I will have to cut it here. Also. 
and how wide you want it. It's quite wide, so it will need to be cut. You can measure it, measure it. You can use your paper trimmer. I'm just using the scissors, so I can show you that you don't have to use any special tools. And I will come again with my corner. Punch, you know, with me with my corners. I like the corners round. It's actually one of the few, 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 few punches I have. I have in a circle one, two circle ones, and a, a corner punch. And now we'll take uh, some piece of scrap lace, at least for example, and you can glue it, or you can even staple it. Let's glue this. In the other side, use a staple, but. Why not glue this? And you can you put that only so you will have more freedom when you you will have something to grab to hold it when you want to pull the paper. Okay, let's put it there. So that was my very quick, very, very easy tutorial on how to make those beautiful, beautiful, beautiful envelopes. Can you see now? You can see that. And you have to, you want to uh, have your, every, anything that you put there as decoration or to handle or something, even, uh, you know, a piece of ribbon or whatever, you want it to be um, deeper than the crease so you will have your envelope closing that's the only thing that you have to uh, be aware of. so that was a very very quick very very easy beautiful 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 envelope tutorial on how to make these beautiful beautiful bookmark as i say them envelopes and you know the sky and your imagination is the limit now you can decorate them as much as you wish I usually don't decorate them too much because I don't want to bulk in it, too much bulkiness in the junk journal. So tell me what you think. Don't forget, share, like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell button so you can get notifications. And we will speak soon. Hugs and kisses. Thank you all for your support. Bye.